friends, welcome to another episode of Stefan's Garage and today hosted by Mark's Garage. As you see, it's not my garage, we cleaned everything thoroughly. Today, no Wilbur's install, however, it has to do something with suspension. If you have already upgraded your Harley to an aftermarket suspension, no matter which brand, and still have um, kind of a high speed instability, then the reason is definitely not the suspension, it might be the bushings of the rear swing arm. And so today, just as a preventive measurement, we will remove the swing arm and install the Alloy Arts reinforcement bushings. I will show them later. And in addition, we will check that the rear swing arm is aligned correctly which might be an issue as well. So stay tuned and let's start wrenching. First of all, we need to remove the rear saddlebags. Saddlebags are removed. Now we want to see whether the swing arm is aligned properly. For that, we're going to remove the lower shock mounting bolts in order to uh, measure the distance from both sides with our special tool. We reinsert the upper mounting bolts and the lower ones with the distances provided by the special tool. Normally you don't need to remove the shocks, but as we are going to change the bushings anyway, we are removing the shocks right away. The top bound, uh, bolt is inserted loosely, the lower one with the provided spacer on both sides. And so we can now use our special tool, which is called the equalizer. Don't mix it up with the movie with Denzel Washington. Now we take the measurement between the shock mounting bolts on the right side. The wheel is on the ground. And now we check whether this distance is the same on the other side. Yeah. Mm -mm. You see, this is only a very small difference, but this swing arm is not aligned properly. And most probably with the new reinforcement bushings, but we will check later, we will have a perfectly aligned swing arm. And I've seen much worse, so, okay. Furthermore, to remove the swing arm, we need to remove the brake caliper, the rear wheel, and for that we're going to remove the left hand um, muffler. Okay, in order to have the same setting for the belt tension, you should mark the position of the axle here and then it's easier to readjust the belt tension. Be aware that there's a small washer in between. And here we have the brake caliper bracket and the ABS sensor below. Be patient. You already heard this washer that was in between falling out. So, and then we move the tire a little bit to the front in order to be able to remove the belt from the pulley. And now we're gonna 
lift the bike in order to be able to slide out the rear wheel underneath. Careful not to damage the brake rotor or anything else. Not necessary for the swing arm bushing upgrade. Because we will change this compensator as well. Action. Okay, here is the stock rear wheel compensator. And here is the Alloy Arts replacement one. Um, as the CVO has a 131, it might be better for the belt and everything. We, we will just give it a try and then tell you if it's any improvement. Okay, here the Alloy Arts part is seated. It's the same shape like the stock one, however, the Plastic is a little bit more elastic and it should dampen the uh, harshness between the mighty 131 power and the rear wheel. So just a little bit smoother and better for the whole drivetrain than the stock one. And as we mentioned during the intro, the most neglected part of your Harley is cleaning the rear swing arm and the rear swing arm bearing and you see I lift it up there's quite some resistance and very slowly it removes back to its original position on older models you will definitely have to push it down due to the seizure of the swing arm bearing once again and we will see what happened after the installment of the new bushings and cleaning of the swing arm bearings Next, we have to remove both passenger foot pegs. And we have to remove the cover of the rear fork axle. Normally, those are just plastic covers. They pop off really, pop off really easily. And here we have Figurati designs. And you see two bloody Germans are always riding with tailwind. The American flag is pointed in the wrong direction. And we will correct that. We will change both covers to the right side. So when the swing arm bushings are installed, we will have headwind and the stars and stripes will be in the right direction. We start here with this bracket for the swing arm. Now we will remove the flag. In order to remove the uh, rear fork axle we need to start removing this bolt first we need to heat it up in order to melt the loctite and then we will use an impact in order to get it loose as the rear fork axle is part of the rear engine mount we need to support the rear engine at this point. Therefore, we have an old car jack that fits perfectly. And in order not to scratch anything from the paint, a little piece of wood. Just to have a support when we remove Okay, that should be enough. And now we can push the whole rear fork axle, of course, with a rubber mullet onto the other side. We try to use a lot of force, however, it's not necessary. So if the rear engine mount is supported correctly, 
and you can easily slide out the axle without any force. We work out the rear swing arm. Hast du ihn drüben? Okay. So, the whole axle is removed and we need to replace the bushing in here. Therefore, we will use a vise and then remove this screw in order to disassemble the whole thing. There we go. Just a second. And that's the whole point. Neglected rear fork underside. Nobody is cleaning those except for me. And also this is a low mileage bike. You cannot turn the rear swing arm bearings just by bare hand. You can twist them a little bit, but you cannot turn them. So already a little bit seized, but we want to address this. Okay, the most neglected part of motorcycle cleaning, the underside of the rear fork. And now, finally, you can ride with a better feeling with a clear and clean rear fork. Okay, why are we doing the whole thing, you see, with the stock bushings has a lot of play possible in this rubber mount and therefore we will use the alloy arts reinforcement bushings not sponsored and they have kind of an elliptical shape so they just fit in in one position which we have to find out first we're gonna edit this out now you see there is no play possible for the rear swing arm So this is the right hand rubber bushing already with the alloy arts reinforcement bushing installed. Note this tab over here and it needs to fit from behind onto the mount and you have to look for the tab that it's properly seated. And you cannot turn it anymore when you have the tab and it's properly seated, which it is. I will check from inside. Okay. Right where my finger is, is the mentioned tab. Stop. Okay, note that we put the belt drive again around the swinger. That helps later on. And now carefully work in the swing arm and the Axle of the rear fork. Okay, ich habe ihn. Dann kann er jetzt. Oh, ist das ist gut. So, so. So, jetzt mal. Ja, ich hab. Oh, ist gut, Sekunde. Jetzt ist er drin. Jo. Geht auch schon weiter? Nee, da musst du bei dir hinten jetzt. Kannst du die Schwinge etwas halten? Kann ich. Nur unterstützen. Habe ich. Jetzt kommt er schon, jawohl. Ist jetzt bei dir hinten schon irgendwo im Anschlag. Du musst bei dir dich da hinten ein bisschen bewegen. Rauf, runter weiß ich jetzt nicht. Aha. Und hier sieht er eigentlich gut aus. Slowly change the engine mount. Ja. Ja, scheint sich was zu tun. Ja, jetzt ist er drin. Und weiter noch? 
weiter ist, glaube ich nicht. And now we install the bracket for the right hand uh, fork mount. You see that this metal tab here and that needs to go into the hole on the rubber bushing. And some blue Loctite. Torque spec for these two bolts is around 80 newton meters. That's the mid of the Harley torque range. A uh, torque range. And now finally, the bolts for the rear fork axle. You notice some blue Loctite as well. Right hand with some blue Loctite as well. And then finally, torque these bolts as well with 80 Newton meters. Jetzt werden wir langsam fest. Okay, and now we check the rear swing arm. Oh, it's pretty, pretty tight. I will put on my hand because, ouch! You see, what a difference. Okay, and now the flag is in the right direction. The stupid Germans corrected their mistake. Now we will reinstall the rear wheel. We will just show how to do. Remember not to forget the small spacer between the rear fork and the wheel. And on the other side, it's going to be the mounting bracket for the rear brake caliper and underneath will be the ABS sensor. We will show everything when it's back installed. For checking the alignment of the rear swing arm, the normal procedure is just loosen the lower shock mounting bolts and put on the spacers provided by the tool manufacturer and we get our first measurement, okay, and now we check the other side. A little bit tighter, but you remember during the first time it didn't fit at all, and now we have less than half a millimeter. Okay guys, everything is back reassembled, talk to spec. Um, we didn't show that because if you don't know how to reinstall the rear wheel, you definitely shouldn't do that install. We installed the Alloy Arts reinforcement swing arm bushings and you realized that we got a much preciser, much more precise swing arm alignment and we put in the super cush as we had the rear wheel removed anyhow, legal in all 50 states and worldwide. I'm glad, so even German TÜV wouldn't pull us over because of a piece of rubber compensator. Um, weather is now bad, we will uh, do the test right later, but actually I did it already on Red Hot Chili Pepper, who has the reinforcement bushings. And yeah, she was stable before, now she's even more stable if we go above the 120 miles per hour. So, thank you for watching. Wrench at your own risk. If you're not sure what we have done here, then see a professional mechanic to have those reinforcement bushings installed. Otherwise, you might hurt yourself and I will lose a follower, which I don't want, or a subscriber. And last word from my side. Thank you very much, Stefan, again. You're welcome, as always. Well done. Uh, I won't offer this service through my business as it's too time consuming, uh, but of course I will give you some hints if you do it yourself. Schneller gehen.
Wo machst du die Achse rein? Nee, nee, der will noch lange nicht. Also Aber kein Actionbild. Drüben filmen, mit Klaus, da ist nicht nichts Interessantes. Drüben, weil die Achse jetzt sind. Action, ja, aber auch ein bisschen größer. Kannst du also noch ja, ja. ja, genau. Action habe ich. So, ja, jetzt ist Action schon. Ja, das voll. Ist ja der Wahnsinn. Oh, mit Fingern, oh, mit Fingern, oh, mit Fingern Also so. Ja, ja wunderbar. So. Perfekt. Ja. Gut. <lacht>